All right, this will be a pretty quick update on what happened as um, of May 20th, 2025, the newest message from the GDC. They're going to cover some of the very controversial rules that a lot of PP teams has been very adamant about. And we're going to get straight into it. So pretty much what they talked about was they said that, um, you know, you get more plastic than than you did before. However, they will not be re uh, uh, reverting this change. So, because they said the previous custom plastics was unenforceable, right? Because it's really hard to make sure that everyone was within that, you know, that 12 by 24, 288 square inches. So they will be enforcing this rule. So I think that, no, this is fair. Uh, from what we've seen this season, you don't actually need that much poly. So this is totally fine, I think. Uh, as long as teams are, you know, can CAD their robot well and just, you know, keep that 12 piece limit in mind, this is totally fine. However, as we move on to the second part, they do say that there will, I mean, the cleanest solution is that there will be no 3D printed parts at all, right? None at all on any robots. So no 3D printed license plates either, which is, you know, kind of, kind of disheart disheartening uh, in some way, but um you know this is kind of kind of expected i guess so it is it is what it is so we'll be going into it the new season with no more 3d printed decorations however they still encourage teams to use you know scuffs and custom toolbox inserts and auto auto alignment tools so i wanted to add something about auto alignments though i think one of the i think something that i saw out of saratoga last year that was uh really really interesting and inventive was their autonomous line up right because so they use an auto to line up for their autos so then they just place their so then they don't need to create like five or six because last season you had, had so many different autos so they, they didn't need to make five or six different alignment tools all they need is just to put the robot onto the tile line it up against the edge of the tile and then run the code and the robot lines up for for them and that's really smart anyways um this as well here uh the updated the license plate rules and if you want to go down a little bit more they will be fixing the expansion rule so that's nice um and that expansion rule is talking about that 15.5 by 15.5 inch expansion so i'm guessing that'll be back up to 18 by 18 um and we'll have no normal robots again anyways very short video today uh, i do wanted to say however though well i have a short interview a short uh soon i'll have an interview dropping um where I, me and a friend interviewed a MIT uh, doctorate who worked on a robot there, and that's super cool. So, you know, watch out for that.